Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at diffusion, active transport and osmosis. Cells need different substances to move in and out of them through their cell membranes. The easiest way to do this is by diffusion. So diffusion is just the passive process of molecules moving from a high concentration to a low concentration. We've got active transport. So this is where the cell is moving things from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. And finally, osmosis. So osmosis is the movement of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration through a semi or partially permeable membrane. Diffusion is the random movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. So particles in liquid and gas move continuously. So it's because of this movement, particles will spread themselves out evenly throughout a liquid and a gas. Particles will move in both directions, but there will be a net movement from a high to a low concentration. And finally, particles will end up eventually spread throughout the liquid or a gas evenly, but will continue to move. Active transport is the movement of dissolved molecules into or out of, to, of a cell through a cell membrane from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. So we start off with concentration is higher inside the cell than it is outside. So molecules are taken in against the concentration gradient. A carrier protein is therefore needed to take these molecules across the cell membrane. So energy is required to make the carrier protein work. So this energy comes from respiration. So molecules are released into the cell, which increases concentration of these molecules inside of the cell in comparison to outside. So one question that we might be asked. So the diagram shows four ways in which molecules may move into or out of a cell. The dots show the concentration of molecules. Which arrow A, B, C or D represents active uptake of sugar molecules into a cell? So pause the video, have a think about it, then go and have a look at the answer. So it would be C because the uptake is against the concentration gradient because it's going from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. So osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules from a dilute solution to a more concentrated solution across a semi-permeable membrane. Or water is the Osmosis is movement of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low water concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. So when the concentration of water is the same on both sides of the membrane, the movement of water molecules will be the same in both directions. There will be no net movement of water molecules, so in theory the level of the solution will rise well, this will be opposed by the water moving in the opposite direction, so you'll end up with an equal concentration of water on both sides of the membrane. So, a question that you could be asked is that students put plant cells into two different strengths of sugar solutions, A and B. The diagram shows what the cells look like after one hour. Describe two ways in which the cell in solution B is different from the cell in solution A. So pause the video, have a think about it, then go and have a look at the answer. So you could have any two from the vacuole 
is smaller, the cytoplasm is shrunk, there's a gap between the cytoplasm and the cell wall, and the cell walls are curving in, so any two from those. Thanks for watching.